The princesses were the backbone that kept all of Equestria in a constant state of safety. Without them, all of Equestria would be in chaos right now. And even I looked up to them when I was young. I just felt safe knowing that Twilight and her friends had the elements of harmony. And if anything ever happened, they'd save Equestria like they always did. But there's always been a darker side to both the princesses and the elements. And it broke my faith in both of them. And I think it's time that every pony knows the truth. So I'm sorry, Twilight. But this has to be done. It just has to be. In my last video, I talked about who was really controlling every event that's ever happened in equestrian history. So if you haven't watched that yet, you should go check it out. But for now, we need to talk about the worst possible threat to Equestria. But before we can talk about that, we need to talk about the multiverse. Originally created when Starlight Glamour went back in time to stop the sonic rain boom, the multiverse branched out from a single point in time into several alternate realities. And according to Sawtooth, these timelines might have even created their own multiverses. After constantly failing to stop Starlight, Twilight was forced to travel to each one of these realities. But there's an even bigger mystery that the multiverse brings to the table. Or should I say, the cutie map. The cutie map was connected to each one of these timelines, especially since the cutie map kept showing up next to Twilight every time she entered a new reality. And while you could argue that they were the cutie maps from those realities, remember that the main six never met in any of those worlds. So by default, the cutie maps couldn't have materialized from the Tree of Harmony because Twilight wasn't there to return to elements in the first place. So no, this is the same cutie map from the original equestrian timeline. But what could it mean? Well, if the cutie map constantly shows up in every possible timeline, then the timelines are more connected than we originally thought. And if they're all connected by the Tree of Harmony, that means that if something were to happen to the tree, or more specifically, the Spirit of Harmony, that wouldn't just affect Equestria, it would also branch out to the, all of the alternate timelines as well. And maybe even the human worlds of each of those alternate timelines. Although we don't have any true indication that the human world is connected in the same way as the alternate realities, but oh wait, we do. Remember when Sunset Shimmer stole Twilight's crown and went to the human world? Well, the events of that caused the human world to experience magic. And not just any old magic, but pure equestrian magic. That's why weird things kept happening. Adding magic to creatures that originally had no magic to begin with would cause them to turn into, uh, raging she-demons. Hey, her words, not mine. The introduction of equestrian magic to the human world is proof that the worlds are connected in some way. Well, that and the portal. But my bet is that they're connected through the spirit of harmony. So if the human world is connected to the original Equestria, then it must be the same for each version of Equestria in the multiverse. And each Equestria must be connected to their own version of the human world, complete with their own version of Sunset Shimmer, just waiting to open up a portal back to Equestria. Now, let's talk about the elements of harmony themselves. The six magical artifacts that remain a mystery to this day. They were powerful enough to petrify the Lord of Chaos himself twice. So they're pretty strong but they do have a weakness. Think back to when Discord was first freed from his stony prison. He turned Equestria into a chaos wonderland, but he also took the values that the main six held dear and reversed them as well. Applejack became a liar and Rainbow Dash just up and left them. But even through all of that, Discord knew that he couldn't do the same to Twilight, but her friends could. And it eventually worked. She ended up turning her back on friendship for a moment. But there was something more monumentous that happened here. The color of the main six faded as their ideals vanished, which also prevented them from blasting Discord with the rainbow laser. And skip ahead to when Chrysalis was taking the samples from the main six. She ended up using the samples in a spell to create copies of the main six. And the copies looked exactly like them, except for one minor detail. 
they had no color. What's even more interesting is how the copies didn't act like the main six at all. Instead, they acted like the version of the main six after Discord had corrupted them. Anyway, they eventually made their way to the Tree of Harmony and started to attack it which caused it to defend itself and destroy them. But was it really defending itself? Think back to when Sombra destroyed the tree. There was a lot of force needed just to destroy the tree. You can't tell me that six ponies managed to cause the tree any kind of pain. No, to me it looked like the tree wasn't doing it because it was being attacked but because it was being corrupted. Think of it like this. If the main six acting against their elements got the elements to not work, then the main six are connected to the elements. So creating copies of the main six would allow the copies to have access to the elements regardless of whether they're corrupted or not. Now look back to when they were attacking the tree. The elements of harmony started to darken. It's almost like they were starting to lose their color like the main six. So the elements of harmony were starting to darken and even uphold the morals of the mean six. But what could that mean for the rest of Equestria? Well, thanks to Jake, I know what it means. If the tree and spirit of harmony are connected to not only Equestria, but also the multiverse and human worlds, then if they got corrupted, the mean six and Chrysalis would have been able to gain control of the entire multiverse. And with the spirit of harmony controlling how the events of Equestria play out, they'd be able to control control everything that would ever happen in Equestria. So no more future Equestria and no more human worlds. Everything would just be Chrysalis and the Mean Six. And that's not all. The Mean Six were already planning to betray Chrysalis and claim the power of the elements for themselves. And if they had, there's no telling what that could mean for Equestria. And not even Discord would be able to stand up to them. After all, Discord couldn't even survive a direct blast from the Elements of Harmony. So that's why the tree destroyed the Mean Six. It wasn't trying to protect itself, it was trying to protect the multiverse. Because if you control the tree, you control the spirit, and you control everything. And if you're receiving these messages, Windstriker, the chrysalis of my Equestria has broken out of stone and taken over. And I need your help. Please, please use Enterspace and find me, help me. We really need you. This is Windstriker of the Equestrians for Harmony. Signing out. Hoof to heart.